Have you ever imagined creating captivating symphonies or vibrant melodies just by typing a few words? If that sounds like a wild dream, pinch yourself, because the future of music is here. Imagine being a part of a musical revolution. You're no longer a passive listener, but an active composer, creating beautiful tunes with a few keystrokes. The power of AI, thanks to Music Gen, aka Audio Craft by Facebook, makes this possible. But let's hit pause for a moment. The world of AI is vast, intricate, and evolving rapidly. It's a maze where many of us can feel lost. That's why I'm here to walk you through this incredible journey of AI music creation. In this video, we'll dive deep into the mechanics of Music Jam, a phenomenal tool that can produce an unlimited array of AI-generated tracks. But don't worry if you're a novice or even a skeptic, because by the end of this session, I bet you'll be humming along to your own AI-composed music. Now, let's get something straight. AI music is not yet ready to win a Grammy. It's not flawless, but boy, is it mind-boggling to see how far we've come with just a line of code. Who could have thought, say a decade ago, that we'd be orchestrating our own soundscapes via artificial intelligence? This software is a gem for creating background music. Whether you're a YouTuber looking for non-copyright tunes or just someone in need of some ambient noise while you work, Music Gen is your go-to. But don't let me put you in a box, the possibilities with AI music are as endless as your creativity. Now, there's been some confusion about the system requirements. The official site recommends a GPU with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. But let's debunk that myth right here. I'm running it perfectly well on my RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Word on the street is, it even works on GPUs with as little as 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Currently, Music Gen delivers bite-sized pieces of 10 to 30 second outputs. But hey, we're not stopping there. Stick with me till the end of this video, and I'll share with you two methods to turn these 10 to 30 second tracks to 1 to 5 minute music tracks. Are you ready to unlock a world of music like never before? Let's dive right in on how to get this installed on your local PC. First, you'll need Python. I currently use Python 3.10.6 for the PyTorch support. So I recommend installing Python 3.10.6. Be sure to click Add to Path when installing. All right, up next, we're going to tackle installing Git. But don't fret. It's as straightforward as installing any other program. All you have to do is run the installer and follow along. Just keep tapping on that next button and accept all the default settings. Before you know it, voila! Git is all set up and ready to roll. Next we are going to install PyTorch. Go to the website and scroll down till you see. Install PyTorch 2.0.1 with CUDA and TinyCUDANN there will be a copy symbol. Click on the copy symbol. Go back to your desktop. In the search box, type CMD and press enter. Now paste the code and hit enter. Let it install and you're golden. Now that we have Python, Git and PyTorch installed we can head over to the Music Gen GitHub page. You'll see a green code button. Click that, then click on the copy button. Now open File Manager and go to the directory where you want to install Music Gen. For me, I'll install it on my F drive. So I'll go into my F drive and in the address bar type CMD. Now in the command window. Type git clone and right click to paste the code and hit enter. You'll now see a folder called AudioCraft. Go into your AudioCraft folder and in the address bar type CMD and press enter. Now you'll need to type pip install dash e space period and hit enter. We are almost done. Next, we will need to go into our AudioCraft folder and there will be another AudioCraft folder. Go there. Then go into the models folder and locate the file loaders.py. Make a copy of loaders.py as a backup. Now edit the original loaders.py by right-clicking on it and selecting open with Notepad. In Notepad, locate this and replace it with this code. Once that's finished, you're done. You now have Music Gen installed and ready to go. Now, to launch the program, double-click on app.py in your AudioCraft folder. It will open a command window and let it load. Once it's done, copy the HTTP address and paste it into your web browser of choice. If you want dark mode, just add the following line to the end of the URL, hit enter, and let it load. Once we got Music Gen loaded, we can now generate some music. But first, let me cover some of the basics. In the input text box is where you'll write your music prompt. Condition on melody is where you can upload or use your microphone to select a melody you'd like Music Gen to go off of. File is where you can add your melody music file. Model is the type of model you want to use. Melody, medium, small, or large. For me, I just stick with medium or melody and that works fine for me. The larger the model, the more VRAM it will use. Duration is by seconds and by default it is set to 10 seconds. You can go up to 30 seconds without having any trouble such as bad audio outputs. Now let's go over the top K, 
top P, temperature, and classifier free guidance settings and break it down. First, let's go over top K. Imagine you're at a party, but you can only invite the K most popular friends. In these music models, this is like selecting the K most likely options for the next note in our song. If K is small, it's a small, tight-knit party with less variation. If K is large, it's a wild party with lots of unexpected guests and plenty of musical diversity. Next, meet Top P, the life of the party. Rather than a fixed number of guests like Top K, Top P is more about the vibe. It's like inviting enough friends so that the chance of having a good time surpasses a certain level, say 90%. It balances the randomness and predictability in our music, making it both diverse and coherent. Super cool, isn't it? Temperature in our music model is like the mood controller of our musical party. Higher temperature? Expect a wild, unpredictable bash. Lower temperature? More of a chill, predictable gathering, aka more focused and repetitive music notes. Last but not least, classifier-free guidance is like having a DJ who knows exactly what tunes you love. It's a technique where we train a separate DJ network to recognize specific music styles. During our music creation, the DJ guides the model to make music that vibes with the style you love. This way, you have more control over your generated tunes, adding the spice of your choice. All these terms, top K, top P, temperature, and classifier-free guidance are just different ways to tune and control the music that our models make. Think of it as the knobs and sliders on a DJ's mixer, helping you achieve the perfect balance between creativity, diversity, and control in your tunes. You get to play DJ and adjust these to your liking, tuning the music to your taste. Now let's talk about the melody model. The melody model will do its best to follow the melody and match the style of the track you upload. For example, if the melody track you upload sounds like this, then it will take your prompt and combine it with that melody. Let's click on one of these examples to demonstrate. By clicking on one of these examples here, it will load the prompt and sample melody. This will give you a better understanding of how the melody model works. That's the power of the melody model. Now let's generate something using the medium model. Just a text prompt, no melody to go off of. Cool. Now, you can start generating your own copyright free tunes. But remember when I said to stick around and watch the full video and I'd show you a trick on how to get past the 30 second limit? Well, I am about to show you how to do this using two different methods. Hey, real quick, it takes me a lot of time and energy to make these videos so please hit that like button and subscribe so I can continue to make content for you. 97% of you watch my channel but aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button for more AI related content. Okay, back to the video. One method requires you to have Adobe Audition. If you don't have Adobe Audition, don't worry because method 2 doesn't require Adobe Audition. Let's start with method 1. Open Adobe Audition and click on Multi-Track and click OK. Now, drag and drop your Music Gen track onto Track 1 and click OK. Select Track 1 and to the right you'll see Essential Sound. Click on Music. From here, select Duration and click Remix. You'll see the target is 30 seconds. Simply enter the duration you want or click and hold left click and drag it to the right to increase the length. There you go. You now have a custom length music gen track. Easy peasy. Now let's go over to method 2. Method 2 requires you to visit this link. Now just drag and drop your music gen track. By default it is set to 1 minute. So I'll leave it at that and click change duration now. Once it's done, sign in, it's free, and download the one minute track. Done. Those were the two different methods to get past the 30 second limit of music jam. Now go and create some music. That brings us to the end of today's insightful journey into the world of AI. If you found this video valuable and want to stay up to date with the latest trends and breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by doing so, you'll become part of a community that's at the forefront of AI discussions. And remember, by clicking the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever we upload new content, ensuring you never miss a beat in this fast-paced field. Finally, we encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from you and your insights could spark fascinating discussions among the AI controversy community. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.